Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Evolver FX. In this video, I would like to introduce you to how to use ARPS in Evolver FX. I just loaded the previous performance that uh, where we left it in the previous video. Let's disable now the first three lanes, A, B and C. And let's activate lane B, selecting and also activating the sequencer. Something I also want to do is to limit the, the level volume on the, the lane B and C where I know I have quite powerful bass and synth as well and I want to increase the volume on lane D so that I can hear better the uh, the ARPs running. Let's go to the next section so let's choose uh, timing let's choose uh, let's leave four steps that's fine for now but let's choose choose a different uh, um, length for each of the steps so let's choose 1 16th let's click an old 1 16th so all the steps will have changed in length let's go to sample let's choose a different multi sample lies key under case the full concert ground and i know i have some effects uh, also still applied but you will let's hear it let's hear how it sounds okay let's go to notes um let's um select these to be four steps uh, and also let's now select ARP okay and so we activate the ARPs now let's go to the ARP section here is where the magic happens so let's choose for now the forward preset and let's play some chord and it's playing very much uh, all the notes in a forward way so let's choose backwards and let's listen. Very nice. Let's choose uh, forward plus chords. Very, very cool. As you can hear, there are chords. Let's choose now backwards, but with chords. Very nice. Alternate picking. Very nice, and you can slow down the tempo to work out the notes that he's playing, the for which pattern, I'll let you do that. We have also second version. But the very cool one is the custom. When you enable custom, then you can use the custom ARP settings underneath here. So what you do is for each of the step, you can change the settings underneath. In this case, all four different steps have all notes playing. So if you play a chord for each of the step, you will hear all the notes playing. Very, very cool. Now, if we select, for example, on the second step, no notes, and also the fourth step, step no notes, like so, so leaving the first one on all notes and the third one all on all notes. Let's hear what it sounds like. And very much the notes are played in a chord on the first and third step steps and on the second and fourth steps are muted. But here's the magic. So let's select the first step and we say on the first step I want the first note being played on the chord, on the second, the second note, on the fourth, third, let's choose the first note again and then on the fourth let's choose the third note okay and and you can continue like so so let's try now we have only four steps but you can increase those so let's go through the steps and let's say give me eight steps okay let's go to the arp again so we were on the third note on the fifth uh, sorry on the f uh, f fourth steps on the fifth step, so let's choose again the first note. On the sixth, the fourth, and on the seventh, the um, first note, and on the eighth, again, why not the um, fourth note again? Or maybe the the fifth, depending on what you play. You can also choose more than one note at the same time. <laughs> So in this case, I'm creating a different pattern, which will alternate between the root of the chord and all the other notes in uh, the chord itself. So very nice indeed. So let's choose um, now 
forward the plus uh, um, code. Let's go back at the top and let's enable all the other lane lanes and uh, let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> As you can uh, hear, you can create fantastic performances uh, using the ARP feature as well. I'll leave it to you to experiment more on what you learned so far. And as always, see you next time. Bye.